and number 10 is going to be The Meg. And I put this film on my list because, mostly due to cur curiosity, because um, I heard that this movie could be, you know, a, bi a kind of a big deal. Like, a big a deal as Jaws, based off its success as a novel. But overall, it sounds like it can be good, since Jason Statham is going to be in it. And it, w it won't be like a crappy sci-fi film you see on the sci-fi channel. It's going to be more of a serious film, and I like the direction it's heading at plus um who wouldn't like to see jason statham battle a 80 foot shark like that's gonna be awesome that sounds both awesome and terrifying so guys that's number 10 all right number nine is the strangers pray at night and i remember watching the first strangers uh and i'm not i didn't i remember not really enjoying it i just remember i was bored the whole time but um still i always wanted a sequel for some reason i don't even know why i guess because most people wanted a sequel i was like you know yeah let's get a sequel you know right now why not <laughs> But um, and now that we're that they're making it, they're making the sequel. It looks pretty. It looks pretty cool actually, and I like the whole '80s atmosphere they are giving it. I like that. You know, I think the Strangers Two will be a fun, mediocre ride. <laughs> like, no, I'm not saying mediocre in a bad way. I mean mediocre in a good way. You know, with all the cliches, all the horror movie cliches, and I think that will, you know, it will work. they're gonna do it really well, and to the point that's gonna be just, you know, it's gonna be really enjoyable. So, yeah, guys, that's number nine. Number nine is going to be The Predator. Okay, there are a lot of rumors for this film, and saying that it takes place right after the first film, and that Ar Arnold will make a return. And if that's true, I think this film will be very exciting, and it's about time I got another Predator movie. Like, who doesn't like this franchise? You know, The Predator is such a badass character. And, um, yeah, I just hope that, you know, it ends up being good, because Predators wasn't, you know, it wasn't completely bad, but, yeah, I did need some work. And I think this movie uh, will revive the franchise and we'll get to see more Predator movies because, again, you know, the Predator, who wouldn't, who wouldn't like seeing Predator in action? So, yeah, guys, that's number nine. Number seven is Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. All right. Well, uh, there's not a lot of things I have to say about this movie, so it's going to be really short. But Jeff Goldblum's coming back, so that's pretty awesome. And the movie does look intriguing with the erupting volcano. And um, I'm excited to hear that, you know, awesome Jurassic Park theme. Like, who doesn't like that Jurassic Park theme? Uh, or at least I hope they bring back the original theme, you know, because this is just world, not just part. But yeah, that's basically all I, to, all I have to say about this movie. So yeah, guys, let's go on to the next one. Number six, Deadpool 2. And this movie looks hilarious, and I'm super excited to see Cable in action and see his role in the movie. Also, Domino will be in it, so that's cool that, you know, they're going to be extending their character list. And also, in all of the plot zone, so that's cool cause it, because it will be more unexpected. So let's just hope it's good. Number five, Incredibles 2, and man, it's been like, what, 14 years since the first movie? So it's about damn time we got a sequel. And um, I, mean, I just remember, you know, watching this movie when I was like four and being like super addicted to the first movie. So yeah, I just hope it's just as amazing and it's worth this long ass wait. And let's hope that the next trailer reveals a lot more. But overall, my hype level is super high. Number four, Avengers Infinity War. All right, and... It's amazing to see how far film universe, or cinematic universe to be more specific, can get in 10 years, and Avengers Infinity War will be the 18th movie in the MCU. So this movie already looks epic with the theatrical trailer alone, and this movie will not fail. I know for sure it will not, because then 10 years were not really worth it, because, you know, got everything started back with Iron Man 2008, just in case you guys didn't know that. And, uh, yeah, I think... I think it's uh, this is uh, what all the films have been building up to, and I think it's going to be an epic cli climax. Number three, Venom. And uh, I don't have a whole lot to say you know, about this movie because I don't really know the plot. Like, literally, if you go to IMDb, it'll say no plot available. But except that, you know, Tom Hardy is in it, so that's cool. And, um, and I heard that that's going to be a little bit more horror-related, which I hope, since it is Venom, and he seems like the horror type and most likely kill like his enemies like in a super brutal violent way so it is venom you know he seems like the kind of guy who would do that so it's uh i heard that it's gonna be rated r so i'm guessing because of the violent i'm not really sure maybe it's gonna be you know a lot of horror you know well it's horror so we don't really know what to expect from horror and i also heard that this film won't be in the mcu or maybe they just won't be mentioned at all no it's in the mcu like the other characters and the it's in a stand or it might even be in a standalone universe without Spider-Man, so that's really intriguing, and if any, if any of you guys know more about this film, or, and its plot, uh, you know, let me know in the comments below, guys. Number two, The New Mutants, Amanda's movie will look interesting, 
Man, I know nothing about the new mutants, to be honest with you. But the trailer, man, it makes them look really interesting. And I kind of want to read all the new mutants comics now. And um, I love that this film will be, you know, an all-out horror movie. Like, how awesome is that? Like, this is going to be the first ever Marvel horror movie. And I hope it will be great with their, you know, psychological horror themes and all that. And suspense and the characters having to conquer their pasts. I think that's pretty awesome. So, yeah, a Marvel horror movie. This is going to be awesome. And finally, number one, Halloween. And or also known as Halloween Turns. But I'm not sure. But everyone in, in the horror community is super hyped to watch the movie. Because who doesn't want to see Michael Myers on the screen again? And it's going to be a lot of returning casts. Like Jamie Lee Curtis. Nick Castle. He's back to wear the iconic white mask. And, most, and the most exciting of all, John Carpenter is back to do the soundtrack. And I can't wait to hear that new Halloween theme. And also this is what... This is a what-if story, which means like it's not canon to the original storyline, sadly, but you know, still has a very intriguing story that I think you Halloween fans should go check out right now. And please, Universal Studios, don't fail us. Give us a Halloween movie we have been hyped for for a very long time. So, guys, that's that's it. Let me know what you know what movie um, are you super excited for, or even do do a top ten list like I did right now. So, guys, hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, and see you guys in the next one.